Let's talk about restraints and constraints and how to get them into Olex 2. In this example that we ship, we have always got this problem with this carbon being rather elongated. Um, Ctrl M shows you the map. There's nothing really untoward there. So normally I, I wouldn't recommend modeling this, but for this demo, I will try to deal with this in one way or the other. We've got a base R factor of 3.12, 1, 2. And we might try an ISO on this. We type ISO and then put a spring constant in. This is how much you want this ISO to be true. So we make it more or less isotropic, Control R, and this becomes not rather spherical and the R factor goes up considerably. So we can go edit atom if we have the atom selected and then we will get the same display as clicking this button here and we see the ISO restraint we put in and we could uh, lower the um, spring we put in here and type uh, Control R. Uh, we haven't done anything, it looks exactly the same as it did before um, and the R factor is the same so we might as well take it out so old and back space and then edit atom we go back to here and can remove this restraint altogether. Another thing you might want to do is to try and split this whole thing. The way you would do this in Olex 2 is select the whole entity uh, mode split and then with shift and alt just move it up and then you generated all these uh, parts Control R and uh, we're looking at these uh, spheres here and the occupancies are roughly 50-50. I suspect if we just go uh, fix OQ 0 0.5 and refine this again, make it honest, uh, refine again. And uh, now we see that these uh, are very happy and that's uh, not surprising. They're very close together. We can select both of them and put the EADB constraint in, uh, refine this, so now they are the same and we could now put an ISO 0 0.01 in here and see what happens and this looks reasonably happy, um, part 0 and part 1, part 0 and part 2. Um, I'm not advocating that this is a, a correct um, uh, model here, Control M, Oops, I'm in the wrong place here, Control M, there is no density here so this looks all very healthy. Um, however, the R factor hasn't actually changed to what it was before and um, we have a slightly more complicated model for not much gain, I suspect. Anyway, the purpose of the exercise was to show how to put constraints, restraints in. And one final thing, if I now wanted to rename one of those atoms and you just go in here and go name C999, um, if we now go back to uh, all the backspace, select this atom, edit atom, uh, you will find that the ISO and the EADP have uh, followed the new naming so you really don't need to know what things are called when you put restraints and constraints and because Olex 2 will manage that for you. Thanks for using Olex 2.